Why am I dying in this office? It's important that the people of the United Colonies can trust their primary news source. Can I help you? <laughs> Is that so? Spoken like a true tabloid reporter. 
What's this so-called story about? All right, I'll take a look. I don't suppose you want to tell me how you got this evidence. Of course. I just hope your source is as reliable as you think they are. Is there at least a name I can cite as my source? Why am I not surprised? As long as the evidence is adequate and verifiable, I expect it'll be aired within the hour, if not sooner. Now, if you'll excuse me, I obviously have some work to do. specifically told that we did not want a body count on this assignment. And if anyone was left alive, it should have been Lucas and Faye. Your best is sorely lacking. All the tools at your disposal, and yet here we are. I hope you at least attempted to use the internal neuroamp. The deceased may think otherwise. So now it's just a waiting game for SSNN to break the news. Once the story airs, we have another board meeting scheduled to decide how to handle Infinity. Go ahead, Maeve. The SSNN broadcast has started. Shall I patch it through? Yes. yes. Thank you. Citizens of New Atlantis were shocked today when an unidentified assailant assaulted the employees within the Infinity LTD building, leaving many dead, including Lucas Drexler, CEO. The murders are believed to be linked to a new investigation where Drexler would have been accused of numerous violations, including murder for hire, unauthorized human trials, and corporate theft. Authorities representing the UC and the Freestar Collective have been dispatched to a consolidated mining station and the clinic. Both locations are believed to hold numerous victims. Drexler's motivation appears to be an attempt to launch a new product based off stolen information from a competitor. The details on the project itself have yet to be confirmed, but it's believed that Masako Imada, CEO of Ryujin Industries, may be involved. A series what? of communications between be. Drexler and Imada were discovered, where she encouraged Drexler to ignore approval guidelines for human trials. This has been David Barrett for SSNN. Impossible. You set me up. You expect me to believe you're simply an unwilling pawn in this? We'll find out soon enough. Assuming I know exactly how this situation came about, I have only a few things to say. Should Ularu run this company, the reputation of Ryujin Industries will change dramatically. Her unchecked tactics will be heavy-handed, involving murder without question of both the innocent and the guilty. Ryujin may gain financial success, but the percentage is not worth the real cost. Fine. 
I'll see to it you get the credits. We'll be voting on the fate of Infinity LTD. And now I also assume my position is at stake. It's very important we receive at least half the vote on both issues. The CEO rules in the event of a tie. I need you to use everything in your power to convince them. And that includes using the internal neuroamp. Fine. Whether or not you use the internal neuroamp is up to you. But I still want results. You'll find most of the board members in their offices preparing. Vina is also here, waiting for the meeting to start. We'll need at least 50% of the vote to go our way. In the event of a tie, I will make the final decision. I trust you'll get it done. I take it Masako wasn't as pleased to hear the SSNN broadcasts as she thought she'd be? I'm sure she does. She knows I'm the only one that could pull this off. And now she's going to have some serious regrets about holding this upcoming board meeting. Which brings me back to you. Masako wants us to acquire Infinity LTD, which is obviously not on my list of things to do. I need you to persuade the board members otherwise, and make sure they're on our side when I move to vote Masako out. <laughs> you don't think I've weighed those possibilities? Actually, perhaps I was a little overzealous. Being able to pick and choose the talent as I see fit does have plenty of benefits. And I could hold the garnered good faith over Viv for years to come. Alright, I'm convinced. But if this turns into a mistake, I'm holding you accountable. Just get the others on board. The internal neuroamp essentially guarantees success. As long as you get the results I'm looking for, I don't care how you do it. With Masako out of the way and the internal neuroamp finally ready for production, Ryujin Industries will be set for life. Or at least until I retire. Exactly. Ooh, look at that. Your surgical wound's healing like a dream. And how's my favorite patient doing? Not seeing any temporal memory flashes or losing time, I hope. Oh, that's great. I'd say Project Dominion is ready for legitimate human trials in that case. One step closer to seeing market approval. Genevieve is going to be so excited. So, tell me what you think of the Neuroamp. I'd be the next Ray DeCaris, my childhood hero and mentor. How amazing would that be? Demarcus, eat your heart out. Don't tell him I said that. He knows I love and respect him. So the next question is, what will the fate of Infinity LTD be? That's what I'm hoping for. They may be the underdog, but that doesn't mean they don't have a brilliant mind or two. I know Masako will be pushing for the acquisition. I still can't get over everything that's happening, but you're right. Maybe a change of leadership is needed in order to prevent this from happening again. And I have no doubt that Ulara would keep my department fully funded. Well, this has certainly been the most interesting conversation of my day. All we can do now is look forward to the meeting, right? See you in there.
This meeting should prove to be very interesting. Especially after that bomb SSNN dropped in their last broadcast. I assume Masako briefed you on her preferred outcome. Good on you. If it were up to me, I'd have shut down Project Dominion a long time ago. I knew it was a grave security risk, and look what happened. Hmm. I suppose you're right. As long as I'm fully aware of the risks, I can properly account for them. My first priority will be to get the board and all security members set up with shielding as soon as possible. Plus, if we vote to acquire Infinity LTD, we're about to add a significant workload onto my team. The last thing I want to deal with are any more incidents this new NeuroAmp might cause. I hate to agree, but you're right. And I'm sure Masaka will understand my reasoning. You would side against her after everything we've been through? I... I... I can't shake this feeling that I too have doubts. Perhaps if you present your argument, I might better be able to understand my own thoughts on the matter. Not that it was a huge concern, but it would be nice to be rid of the shadow it's left. As much as it pains me to admit it, your words echo a lot of truth. I owe Masako a great debt for my success in life. It pains me to admit you're right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to make sure I'm prepared for this meeting. At least if you're here, you're not screwing up out there. <sighs> Great, the bane of my department. If you need something, make it quick. Choose your words carefully. If you expect me to respond to threats, you're sadly mistaken. Now, I can only assume you're referring to Infinity LTD, and there's only one right decision regarding that corporation. Complete disillusion. All right, I could use the entertainment. Tell me why Infinity is a good asset. I do pride myself on solid contracts, and this one would be especially challenging. Hmm. Point taken. Huh. Well, what do you know? I think you just convinced me. Talent like yours belongs in the courtroom. Are you trying to add to my stress right now? First off, if I find out you use that device on me, I will tie you up in court on whatever charges I can conjure for the rest of your life. Second, that tech is one major human rights violation that no legal team wants to fight. I'll do whatever I can to make sure it's either severely delayed or collects dust in storage. In an ideal situation, yes. And I suppose creating that ideal situation is within my power. Hmm. Now you've made it sound like a proper challenge that I can't help but accept. 
Masako's lucky to have you at her disposal. Even if you are a continual thorn in my side. You may be the greatest asset, aside from the internal neuroamp, that Ryujin has. You aren't the first person to say that. There's definitely something to be said for Ularo. She's ruthless in ways that Masako isn't, and ruthlessness may be just what we need if we're to stay ahead of the competition, especially after this mess with Infinity. This exchange has been surprisingly insightful, but now I really do need to get back to my notes. Don't tell me. Masako wants to make sure I'm still on her side after SSNN dropped this media bomb on us? Well, I was on Masako's until this news dropped. Now that she's been tied to Lucas, buying up Infinity LTD only reinforces the narrative. It's gonna be a hard sell to make this look good. Aren't you the flatterer? You're right, of course. I've certainly handled worse. Besides, I haven't had a good challenge like this in a while. All right. I suppose you've earned the right to voice your opinion after everything you've done, qualified or not. So let's hear it. Now that's a delicate subject, but our competition really is upping their game. If we want to survive the coming onslaught, you're right, Ularu would be the logical choice. And what's your second point to consider? You're preaching to the choir. I have every intention of using it to our full advantage. In fact, I already have an entire marketing campaign in the works and ready to pitch once it's officially approved. Well, it seems your talents really do stretch beyond just being an operative. Good talk. Maybe I'll even consult you on future endeavors. <laughs> you operatives really will wear anything. Just the person I wanted to see. I want to get all the details locked down for this meeting, and I believe you to be one of the best sources available. Good. I prefer first-hand feedback when available. You've had the chance to encounter members of Infinity LTD throughout your assignments here. Do you think they're worth redemption? And why? You can tell a lot by just looking at a workspace or simply observing a person in their business environment. Perhaps I mistakenly assumed that as an operative here, observation was a talent of yours. Your statement confirms my suspicions. As much as Genevieve believes the public perception would boost overall sales, there's no way to know the repercussions of their financials. Next question. What are your thoughts on SSNN's reports that Masako is allegedly connected to Lucas Drexler? Yes. Desperation often leads to poor life choices. I find it difficult to believe that our CEO was truthfully involved in such endeavors. I look forward to seeing what Alexis can learn about the subject. Yes, Ulara would be a very capable CEO. Her loyalty to Ryujin is unmatched. I appreciate the insight. I suppose I should ask if there's anything I can do for you, considering how helpful you've been. This has been rather enlightening for me. I appreciate the time.
To start this meeting, let me just say that the SSNN allegations are completely false. And you expect us to just believe that? If they're false, how did this happen? I'll be ordering a full investigation, but I have my suspicions, which I'll address once this meeting has concluded. Until then, I'm still CEO, and we'll be moving forward with this meeting to acquire Infinity LTD. Do you really think we want a potential criminal? One suspected of being the actual mole here, leading a crucial meeting like this? In fact, I propose we remove Masako as CEO altogether, and nominate myself to take her place. You can't be serious. And you, I thought we had a deal. As much as it pains me to say it, I second the motion. My apologies, Masako, but we failed here. Perhaps new leadership is what's needed moving forward. Dalton, you can't seriously believe that. Agreed. I initially believed we could pull through this, but... I think a fresh perspective is necessary to make sure this doesn't happen again. Any arguments against? Yes, on the fact that I'm innocent and completely capable of doing my job. Let's leave it up to the vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I had a feeling this would go my way. Traitors. All of you. Well, there you have it. And now, since you're no longer a part of this board, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. This isn't over. Says the biggest traitor of them all. Now, now, Masako. Don't go taking out your shortcomings on our operative here. Enough with your attitude, Ularu. I don't care what anyone says or what the evidence is. I know you're behind this. And I'll prove it, no matter how long it takes. Good thing you're going to have plenty of time on your hands, then. Security, why don't you escort Masako to her office? I'm sure law enforcement will be looking for her soon anyway. Now, let's get back to business. So, any arguments for the acquisition? The operative is right. Legal ramifications are a certainty, but the benefits far outweigh the disadvantages. Arguments against? After the series of security issues we've had lately, I'd be remiss if I didn't say the acquisition is a bad idea. This simply is not the time. All right. All in favor of acquiring Infinity LTD? Aye. Excellent. Not bad for my first meeting. Does anyone have anything else to bring to the table before we break? I almost hate to ask now, but are there any other matters to bring forth? No? Good. Meeting adjourned. If only there were more hours in the day. You're looking... interesting today. Hey there. No more Masako as CEO. Well done. Of course, we're now acquiring Infinity LTD. But I'll leave that mess for the others to handle. You've proven yourself to be quite the asset here at Ryujin. For me especially. I will see to it that Lyndon increases your assignment payout. It takes guts for someone in your position to go up against the CEO. 
and Masako never saw it coming. That attitude must be why we work so well together. Now, as promised, I have your bonus. I'm sure you'll find it adequate for all you've done. I'm also promoting you to Senior Operative. You've certainly proven yourself capable enough. As a Senior Op, you now have a personal office, mission board access, and you're free to work on your own time. The mission board will hold any available assignments, although I may still notify you should I require your more specific talents. Oh, and you'll be happy to know, no more docs in pay. I only care about the end result, not the methods. Any questions? Nothing you haven't done already. Uploading files, obtaining schematics, simple stuff. On the operations floor, of course. The majority of them, at least. It, trust me, it's better this way. It's basically an automated handler. Think of it as your personal kiosk that lets you pick and choose your own assignments. With Masako gone, penalties are a thing of the past. Results are all that matter. Besides, the benefits typically outweigh the cost of any cleanup. In that case, I suggest you get familiar with the mission board before you leave today. I'll admit, you helped me pull off a pretty big win. So, if you want to take some time off, I get it. Just don't forget, you still have a job that I expect you to do. Thanks again for your assistance. I trust you'll be discreet. Don't cause any trouble.
What can I do for you?
your heat leeches, uh... If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. Octai and Bayar. He's the head of our Sidonia branch. If you want to do some trading, he's the one you need to be talking to. I'm busy. Here's an idea. Why don't you shout that louder so everyone at UC Security hears? <sighs> Either show me what you're trying to unload or get the hell out of here. I'm not talking price until I know what the hell I'm buying. Nice. A little too hard to handle, though. What else you got? The point out is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC Security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. You must be new at this game, love, so I'm gonna let that one slide. In our business, nothing gets done until money is exchanged, even if that means leaving a credit on each and every rung of the ladder as you climb your way up. Sure, go ahead. You shoot me and the TA will have bounty hunters on your ass before you even get back to the spaceport. Listen, love, I've heard it all. Threats bounce right off, so either cough up the finder's fee or try and sell that shipment on your own. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Oh yeah? Well, I don't know who the hell you are. So what makes you think I'm going to help you out? Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sidonia heard you! Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Yeah, well, she isn't running the show here. I am. Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Feel free to throw as many credits in my face as you want, but that isn't the point. We need to make an example out of this guy. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place.
Most visitors can't wait to get off this rock. The miners pretty much run the lower levels here. Something I can help you with? Adler Camp. Who the heck is that? Adler, you said? Nope. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. <laughs> Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Whatever. Adler, uh, Adler, Adler. Oh, wait, you mean that Adler? Yeah, sorry. I, I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. Uh, I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? Come on! Give me a break! What the...? Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now, okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. Sure. I, I guess I, I could ask for a seven-day shift. I don't know. Maybe so. Um, uh, well, I might be able to cash in a few of my demo shares. Please. Tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. A reminder that bring your child to work day is not an officially sanctioned holiday. Something for me? There, would you look at that? I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Nice, nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? 
If you haven't figured that out by now, then maybe you aren't cut out for our line of work. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. Yeah? What do you want now? What, is he your best buddy now? Is dead spin. Unless he does something stupid. Let me give you a bit of advice. Because the walls, then, he has to hunt. Does that answer? You want to know about Ney? You ever heard? Then the bigger one just moves on. It keeps getting bigger and angrier and ro. Neva Mora is ten times worse than that. Don't mess with her. Don't give her any bullshit. Don't try and rip her off. And whatever you do, you better not betray her, or she will absolutely swallow you whole, and there won't be an atom left. Other than that, she's all right. <laughs> What the hell do you think I'm going to do? You think car? Honestly, I can... Word of advice. Don't get on neighbor's bad side. Do your part to keep Sidonia free. 